it's actually a narrow sort of view to look at uh, the con contradiction of ideas and contradiction of uh, consciousness and the battle of ideas and all that as the driver of change. Rather, he wants to cement the reasons that those contradictions and consciousness and ideas come up is because of the existing contradictions in the productive forces and, you know, who controls what in terms of the productive forces. Uh, instead, it, what, he, what he says is all collisions in history have their origin in the contradiction between the productive forces in the form of intercourse. Incidentally, to lead to collisions in a country, this contradiction need not necessarily have reached its extreme limit in this particular country. Rather, the competition with industrially more advanced countries brought about by the expansion of international intercourse is sufficient to produce a similar contradiction in countries with a backward industry. So, you know, I started this video as an explanation that, uh, you know, change happens not from ideas, but from productive uh, forces uh, and those, those material relations changing. Uh, and, and I'm ending this video now with a call for an international socialist movement, not one that's rooted in nationalism, you know, not one that's rooted in a national identity, but one that's rooted in a universal sort of workers class or universal proletariat identity, as, as Marx might put it. Uh, you know, uh, a revolution in an advanced country isn't going to work because that advanced country is likely so intertwined with the other relationships throughout the world where we're so globalized uh, that for any revolution to happen uh, and be successful and sort of overturning the, the existing sort of oppressive state of affairs, it has to be widespread or else there's just going to be counter movement and backlash from so many different corners. All right. Thank you.